Good morning, you guys. Elliot is taking his first nap. I just finished an audiobook and I'm gonna start another one. I've already read this. Nick and I were talking about it. It's The Magician's Nephew, the first book for the Chronicles of Narnia. And I remember telling him that I really liked this the last time I read it. I just figured I would have something where I can listen to it while I'm doing the dishes or doing other tasks. So I wanted to start this today and read that again because it's been a while. But as you can probably see, we decorated for Christmas. Got the twinkle lights and the trees up. You'll see it in just a second. We were actually super, super sick last week with the stomach flu. Never in my adult life have I had the stomach flu and it was miserable. I got it the worst out of all of us, but all three of us got it. I was throwing up every 30 minutes for hours. My body was so sore and so weak and just, oh my gosh. I'm just trying to get back into the swing of things after being sick and just like, whew, that stuff wipes you out. <laughs> yeah. All right, so he woke up from his nap, but I'll show you guys what decorations look like. I will warn you that today might be a little bit interesting because Elliot is finally starting to pop some teeth and he has just been in pain and just having a lot more emotions. He's probably going to need a lot more love and attention. Anyways, I'll show you what the living room looks like. <coughs> this year was more exciting because we finally, finally brought all of our Christmas decorations back from Washington. So the last two years, you guys, we've had like no Christmas decorations. So now we have everything here and it looks so cozy. We started putting up outdoor lights as well. So I'm super excited about that, but it just feels so homey, like having things on the walls and stuff. He's getting a little bit fussy, so I need to, um, are you okay? Today might be um, a little bit more of a struggle to vlog just cause Little baby, he's struggling. It's all right, what do you want to do? You want to play? Little one, little one, can you see? God made you for his family. Ball. I wanted to show you guys. I'm storing them out here because I don't want Elliot to see them quite yet, but I bought one of the Nugget couches for Elliot's birthday that is coming up in like two and a half weeks or something like that. I actually got it off Facebook Marketplace, so I got a good deal on it, but I love the color because it actually is the same exact color as my yellow goldy throw pillows. So when it's out in the living room, it'll just like be super cohesive. But I saw this pop up on Marketplace and I was like, I have to have that. Elliot is in such a climbing stage right now. Like he is climbing over everything. And I've been so tempted to just bring this out and let him play with it because I know that he is going to absolutely love climbing on it. I'm just so excited to see him play with it. It's been so hard for me to keep it here. I'm one of those people, I do the same thing at Christmas time. Like I get so excited about gift giving and I also like to plan ahead. It's so hard for me to wait to see like their reactions, but this is his birthday present. Still have to think about what we're gonna give him for Christmas. You'll have to let me know if you guys have kids that are born around Christmas, what you typically do gift-wise. I want his birthday to feel special, but I also want Christmas to feel special. My younger brother's birthday is 
the beginning of January. So it was always kind of a, how do we still make his birthday special? But anyways, that's what we've got for the birthday and still trying to think about what to do for Christmas. I know he's one, so there's not like a ton of things that he'll necessarily remember. Obviously something like this, he'll use for years. And so I'm kind of trying to think about that too, like something he can use now, but also something that he'll use year, for years after. While I'm in here, maybe I'll grab him some extra like new toys. I haven't necessarily done like a full blown toy rotation in a while. Mommy brought you some toys. Ugh. You wanna see what mama brought you? We go one, two, three. Almost all of his toys are love every. He loves these toys. But I was just talking about gifts. Love every subscription would be an amazing Christmas gift, especially if you know like a new mom, um, maybe she doesn't have like a lot of toys. Maybe they don't have a lot of space for like big toys like these toys are kind of minimal but they're really like effective in the way that they help the child develop while they're playing i'll leave a link to their website because i think that that would be such a unique and thoughtful gift to give someone a subscription um, a toy subscription for christmas the gift that just keeps giving <laughs> Just got some mail, so I figured I'd open them up. The first one is my Misto Box coffee, which I am limiting caffeine. I kind of went like two weeks without having caffeine, just to kind of see if it would help me not have so many headaches, and I do think it helped, but I'm gonna like slowly start introducing coffee back in but I forgot to delay this shipment. I have plenty of coffee. I haven't even finished the last month's coffee. With the Misto box, you can delay or you can like choose when they get delivered and I didn't choose to delay this shipment in time. So they sent it anyways. This is the coffee I got for the month. Metric, I think is what the roaster, yeah, Metric Coffee from Chicago, Illinois. This is the Colossus blend, fudge, brown sugar, smoke. So I think this is like a deeper, darker blend. I've shown my coffee a couple times in vlogs, and then it was the last vlog that I showed my coffee that I realized you do get like a friend's referral code for Misto Box, so if you love coffee, if you like the idea of never having to go out to the store and buy coffee, and then you also get like more wide variety of different coffees, you can sign up for their subscription. And each bag ends up being, I think like 11 or $12, which is like typical that you would get in the store, but you get so many more to choose from. So there is a like friends referral code I'll leave in the description that you get $10 credit, I think, and then I also get $10 credit. This isn't sponsored. My in-laws actually bought this subscription for me, but I just figured now that I know that there's actually like that code to where if you were considering getting the coffee subscription, you can get a credit and I can get a credit. So it's kind of a a win-win thing and we can test out more coffees with the credit. So we can kind of be like coffee friends from afar. I'll leave that linked for you guys if you're interested. Hi, honey. Mommy's opening up mail. Okay, I just ordered these off Amazon. They, they come packaged so strange. These are pillow covers. I figured instead of going out and buying Christmas pillows that I could just buy pillow covers and swap out for Christmas because these are going to be so much easier to store anyways. So these I got off of Amazon and they have like a little bit of a texture, but I just wanted like a red pillow to swap out with my yellow pillows. These were super affordable too. I think it's a, just a smart option if you have pillows or just like accent pillows that have removable covers. Try this out. Um, I'm going to put these on and see how they look. Red pillows. 
Now, I did just order off of Amazon cat scratch guards, which you guys, I have needed these forever and I just have not taken the plunge, but are you okay? Tibbs has been so horrendous at scratching up our couches. And so I've had to place blankets on like every corner of like every chair and couch to try and prevent him from scratching them like crazy. I'll put two pictures right here. Um, I bought a fabric shaver. And so before and after, it was just, it was crazy. It took me forever. But anyway, so I finally ordered the scratch guards. They're like tape, so they're like deterrents. So that if he goes to scratch, it'll be like a sticky thing. It's supposed to like train him. So I'll keep you guys updated on those of y'all that have cats that scratch furniture. It's literally the worst. I, hi, baby. I think he is going to need another nap here soon. Are you sleepy? Yeah, sleepy tired. no coffee has made me literally appreciate coffee so much. I just love the taste of coffee. I savor this cup of coffee because it tastes so good. But I'm gonna get some editing done while Elliot naps. All right, baby is still napping. But I was just thinking about something as I was finishing editing my little video because it's a short form video. I am so bored with Instagram right now and I kind of go through these like spells with social media in general, but I took a spontaneous two week break from Instagram a couple weeks ago and then ever since then I've just felt so bored with it. I feel like this happens every time I take a break, like an extended break from social media. I always take Sundays as a break from social media. I've done that for months now, that's the norm. But anytime I take an extended break, I come back to it and I realize there's not a lot of excitement there. Like it just feels like the same old, same old. There's this like freedom in being off of it, which is probably why I liked quitting for two years and just not having to deal with it at all. I think because I enjoy creating videos and creating content, I wanna do those things, but there's also aspects of social media that I just don't love. And so it's trying to balance the two of like doing what I love on the apps kind of discarding the rest. I'm not the one that likes to just sit and scroll and look through posts and videos, and that's basically what you do on those apps. I don't know, I just feel really bored with it, but I also just love creating videos. But I do feel like right now specifically, I'm enjoying YouTube a lot more than Instagram. Ever since I quit for two years, I have a much healthier idea of social media and it doesn't ever get to this like all consuming downward spiral addiction like I was in the past. So for that, I'm super grateful. It also set me up to realize how easy it is for me to go without it so that when I do feel that I need a break, I don't feel feel like that's a daunting task. I, I actually get excited to take a break. Anyways, that's kind of where I'm at. I just feel like I'm a little bit bored with the app and I don't spend very much time on it. Um, Elliot's crying just now. He'll probably want to hang out with me and maybe we'll spend some time outside because it's sunny and I think it's like 70 degrees. It doesn't, I'm still in my like 
cold weather clothes because um, it's so cold in the morning. But anyways, I'm gonna go wake him up or he's already awake, but get him up. Also, we have a cute little Christmas tree in our room and I love that at night. It is so cozy. Would you have a good nap? Are your teeth hurting you? Yeah. Good job, buddy. Put your shoes on. Can you help? 